is that in the house of the Lord and their spouses. I greet my husband in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And I greet the stewards and everybody who is here in the house of the Lord. Let's see when they are playing of people.
and, and, and the gaps, uh, of the gaps in the walls. And now the builders want to start uh, to make sure, now uh, to make sure that everything is there. Mine is to supply all the equipment, the material, and the tools, so that when the work starts, everything needed is available. It doesn't matter you started to build yesterday, you still need this material. And so it means if, if, if my message happens to be all over, in, in, that, in, that, in, that, in that case, if it happens to be all over, don't be confused. Mm. Just the, what, you, what you grab, it is what you see important for you. Because you might need it as you start working. <laughs> somebody will pick a pick, and somebody will take a shovel. Somebody will take a pick. And somebody will take something else because we are about to start the project. And we'll see. So don't ask me, ask yourself, now why is she bringing water? Because we thought she was bringing uh, tools only. Why is she bringing water and cement? Don't worry. God wants that things to be there in the project. So, Tatana, my son, Jesus. And that is the reason I sing and I shout, I shout for Jesus and I
Luke chapter 5, verses 12 to 16. Jesus heals a man with leprosy. While Jesus was in one of the towns, a man came along who was covered with leprosy. When he saw Jesus, he fell with his face to the ground and begged him, Lord, if you will, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said, be clean. And immediately the leprosy left him. Then Jesus ordered him, don't tell anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest and offer the sacrifices that Moses commanded oh, for, your, for your cleansing as a testimony to them. Yet the news about him spread all over and more, uh, so that crowds of people came to hear him and, he, and to be healed of their sicknesses. But Jesus often withdrew to lonely places and prayed. This, my brothers and sisters, is the word of the Lord. Thanks Forgive me for, I don't know if I'm stammering or I'm too quick, fast when I speak, but forgive me for that. When you did not get it, the Holy Spirit will see. Amen. the gap. Now, if you want to understand this text, or the background of the story, you can go to Leviticus 13 to 14 and 2 Kings 7, uh, verse 3 to 9. And in Numbers 5, verses two, verse, two, two, verse 2 and 3, God told Moses to command the Israelites that anyone who has, a lep or who has lep who had leprosy or a discharge of any kind or anyone who was ceremonially unclean should be sent away from the camp. That was done both made to both to male and female. I like so that they could not defile the camp where God dwelt among them. Persons or people with skin diseases were not clean or, or not holy. And so therefore they were isolated from the public space to be or, or to be with people of God in the cities and were banned from participating in temple worship or in the temple worship of God, the Holy One, because they were unclean. This phrase now connects with the story in chapter 4, verse 43, where Jesus says, I have to go to other, others, uh, other, other cities too to proclaim the good news. But this, to me, raised a problem. What is the bad affected person doing in the city? I have no right answer, but this man knew very well that he was not supposed to be in the city. I also do not have an answer to my own question as to why was he not driven away from the city. But I assume that, because the Bible is not telling me, but I assume that he heard about Jesus, he heard about the coming of Jesus, and he put it into himself to seek this well-known healer who was coming to the city. And so he went to Jesus to seek healing. Amen. Perhaps it was God's purpose for, for his power of healing to be displayed. Perhaps this man, this, this was a plan for God to break the boundaries between the sick and, and the healthy and, and the, the clean and the unclean. As I happened today, says Jesus boundary breaking ministry of outcasts. Perhaps it was God's way of breaking borders. I don't know if this man is breaking, breaking boundaries himself by encountering the, the, the boundary breaker. Oh. Now, Jesus, the Holy One of God, in, verse, in, in chapter 4, 34, you know, steps out, step upon the boundaries where that are separating clean from the unclean. He touches an unclean man. He restores that person to the nature of human community. In Mark chapter 1, 40 to 45, he did the same, healing a man with leprosy because the ministry of Jesus was to break boundaries. All right. 
Okay. When the Bible says one of the cities, one school, the scholars say that city was Capernaum. The man is full of leprosy, my brothers and sisters. Leprosy is, was a Greek name or a Greek word which described every disease that not necessary leprosy, but every disease of the, of the skin. And so this man had a serious problem.
Tuhan. No, no money, it, no, it doesn't matter 
how many businesses you have. When you come to God, it doesn't matter what kind of a house you live in. When you come to God, hey, you know what? Is when you come hey. to the table of grace, when you come to the table of Holy Communion, the rich and the poor, they all come together. They all come hey. together and live on the same hey. table, set in the same manner. Because when we come to God, we are equal. Amen. I'm very, very poor. I can't worship God. wants you to worship. To worship Him in truth and in spirit. Because He knows your story. He knows what to tell you. And He knows how to fix it. Our call is to worship God. Praise Him. Tell Him how great He is. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mommy, it's cold. 
order today. Can you please add one more blanket? Those kids. He's, he's now driving a big car because God had mercy. Yes. Okay. He says, he says uh, when your children calls for another blanket, the children in the street calls for blue. Not because blue will keep them warm, but because blue will make the mind forget that it is cold. Oh, thank you. That is all I wanted to share with you. It was more. So it changed my mindset about them. Much as we judge them and say they have left their mother's houses, big and beautiful houses that we don't even know. There are some of them, yes, we cannot run away from that, but there are some of them who, are, who, who found themselves there because of different circumstances. And so God has called us out to those people. Dead as they are. Who said we are clean? If you do want to do the if you want to do the right thing, that's good. And if you want to be able to build to build the terraces and fill the gap in the world, mm. we have to yeah. go back to our daily bread box and see what we've done. Mm. What we've really done. Because Jesus came to build the I think this is Yo. one last thing. We need to reach out to the oppressed. I like this thing that says, I'm clean. Jesus did not say, but you are unclean. I can't touch you. 